Da -da 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 -da. Show World. Welcome to Show World Gamers. Josh here, and we just got done watching the huge Summer Game Fest gaming showcase. So I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about my five personal most exciting things shown. But real quick, if this is your first time on the channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and let's look at the announcements. Now, we're not going to do this in any certain order. We're just going to do my five favorite things that we saw. Now, first, Sonic Superstars. It graphically, it looked amazing. And the first half of the trailer, it looked so amazing. It had the fast Sonic gameplay we know and love. Then, about halfway through, they kind of hit the brakes, and the gameplay after that looked it really kind of slowed down. It still looks really good, but it did raise a few questions. So we will have to wait and see how the game turns out. But I'm still definitely getting this day one. I just hope it turns out really good. Next up, we finally got some Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay. It was shown. Now, I was kind of worried that this title maybe ran over by Street Fighter 6 because of how good that game turned out. That being said, Mortal Kombat 1 is actually looking really good, and I have not been a fan of the past few games, but the fighting style in this game, it looks really good. It seems like they're kind of hearkening back to the more classic style of fighting moves and combos. Now, hopefully this game is kind of fleshed out with some more game modes so it can compete with Street Fighter 6, but so far, so good. Now, Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown kicked off the showcase, and I think this is the perfect style of game for this franchise. The graphics are clean, and the gameplay looks fast and fun. I think that a Metroidvania style in this world not only fits, but in this style and setting, it also sets it apart from other games in the genre. And I cannot wait to play this game. It's scheduled for a January release, and I'm definitely going to be picking this up. Next up, Sandland looks really promising. Coming from famed animation artist best known for Dragon Ball in the anime world and Dragon Quest art and character design in the video game world, Akira Toriyama. We did not get much info, but what we saw looked good, and I will definitely keep this Bandai Namco title on my radar. Now, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth closed out the show with an awesome new trailer that showed gameplay and some CGI, announcing the release window of early 2024. The second part of the Final Fantasy VII Remake will come to the PS5, and the game's going to be huge. It's actually coming on two discs, and I can't wait. I love Final Fantasy VII. I really enjoyed part one of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And we've been waiting a long time, so I'm definitely going to be playing this as soon as it comes out. All right, gamers, that was just a few of the announcements at the Summer Games Fest Showcase. There was a lot to get excited about, no matter what kind of games you like to play. What are you looking forward to playing? And is there anything you had in your top five that we didn't? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for joining us today, gamers. Showch World, out.